sorry in advance for any noises you hear in the background. Again, I have roommates that are doing things and the walls are pretty much paper thin, so you're going to probably hear them again. Sorry about that. Hey guys, it's Tori and today I'm going to be reviewing Trinity Flynn and the Five Points Gang by Christopher J.H. Jones. A little over a month ago I was given this by my cousin who actually has recently helped start this local publishing company near where my parents live and she asked me because of this channel if I would be willing to read it and review it and I heard what it was about and it sounded really interesting so I agreed and I'm so glad I did because I really really ended up loving this book. So how I'm going to do this I want to keep I feel like I prefer reviews especially non-spoiler reviews to be short and sweet so you can just get an idea of it and figure out if you want to read it. No need to ramble. We're going to basically just cover a few pros and a few cons I have with this book and you can decide if it sounds like something you will like. I will also link down below some places where you can purchase this book um, as since it is such a small recently created publishing company um, I'm not sure how widely available it is so I will link some places down below where you can get it if you choose to do so. But anyway, this book follows a girl named Trinity Flynn during 1920s in New York as she basically has this experience, this adventurous experience in Belgium while she's visiting there and it causes her to want to study to be a spy. She wants to be able to participate in world events in that way and so she conveniently ends up finding herself in the middle of a murder mystery as well as also starts to take flying lessons as kind of a side plot in this story and it's brilliant. It's like a mix of Nancy Drew, Agent Carter, and then obviously a little bit of Amelia Earhart with the whole flying airplanes in the 1920s type deal. First pro is definitely the characters. I absolutely loved them. I thought Trinity was such a fierce fun character to read about. Um, I loved the side characters. Her roommates added an interesting dynamic to the story with their personalities that are pretty different from Trinity's but similar in just the right ways I feel like. I also found her flying instructor, instructor McIntyre to be very interesting and I'm excited to get to know him as a character a little bit more as well as her parents seem very interesting. However, that leads me into my first con is that I felt like we didn't get any information really about what her parents do and I feel like the author possibly could have done that on purpose but that's one of my biggest pet peeves is when authors like the main character clearly knows something but doesn't tell the reader um, until much later and that's really irritating to me. I feel like it has been done where they don't shove it down your in your face quite as much um, and so it's less annoying because you're not thinking about that mystery as much but I feel like in this every time the, her parents are brought up you kind of are like yeah but who are they? I don't understand what they do. It was really confusing so that was definitely a big con for me was it just I felt like I wanted to get to know those characters a lot more and it was annoying that that information was purposely obviously being kept from me as the reader. Back to a pro, I absolutely loved the world building in this, especially because I could tell, and the plot building really, because I could tell that a lot of re research went into building this plot in this world. There's actually an afterword that describes how the mystery in this was actually a real murder mystery that occurred in the 1920s in New York. The names of those who were involved in that event really are re were real people who were involved. Um, and it's basically this murder mystery where someone was put in jail for it, but there was a lot of strangeness surrounding the whole situation and so the author basically comes with, up with his own explanation as to why there was such ambiguity surrounding this murder and the man that was put on trial for it and everything like that. So it made it really come alive and I absolutely, I just love historical fiction that is clearly well researched because it makes it so much easier to get invested in the story and to just fall in love with it because you can tell it feels more real and I love that. My second and final con, um, 
so right towards the beginning there's an editor's note that basically says that any grammatical errors it's not the editor's fault like the author just said that he felt like his main character wouldn't care about the grammatical errors and so it was almost an effort to make it so you're even more invested in the story and the main character because you're reading something that could have been written by her and I see where he was going with that however and I don't know the full story I just read the author's note and that's basically what it said or the editor's note and that's basically what it said I think that would have worked and been cool if it was written in first person but it was written in third person which means like we're being told the story by someone who's not Trinity Flynn and so it really pulled me out of the story to be honest and I'm really sensitive to that grammatical stuff because um, I have worked as an editor for my friend who's self-published and I had just barely right before I read this edited one of her books and so I was extra like aware of things like that and so it really just pulled me out of the story when those things happened. And again, I see where the author was going with it and why he wanted to do that. It wasn't beneficial to the story in my opinion. Um, again, if it had been written in first person, it may have done better and been more effective, but third person, it wasn't very effective. And the final pro I have is definitely just the setting itself, not only like the research that went into, especially the plot and everything, but just the setting itself. It was so fun. This is, I feel like a book that everybody really kind of wants to read, the 1920s spy series. Most mystery novels end up being disappointing for me. I just feel like I prefer to watch mystery stories on TV or in movies and things like that just because then you're able to see facial expressions you're able to there's just more to it to increase interest that can't really be done as well in a book and so I've only read a few mystery novels that I really ended up enjoying um, and this one was just so fun like it was so entertaining for me to read I literally gave it five stars not because it didn't have issues but because I was so entertained the whole time I thought it was it was just so fun it was so fun and the setting definitely made it so fun it's actually the first in a series that's going to be coming out so which I'm so glad about because that just almost makes it even better I feel like sometimes series it's like does this need to be a series will I care by the end but this is one where it's set up in a way that I definitely feel like I will continue with the series and just enjoy each one on its own. It won't feel like a huge commitment. Anyway, I really recommend this. I also want to make it clear again that I am being honest in this review. I'm not being paid anything by the publishing company. That being said, again, this was just so good and I'm so glad I had the opportunity to read it and I'm so excited for the second one to come to come out probably sometime next year. That is it. Let me know down below some books you've read recently that really took you by surprise that you ended up falling in love with as I would love to know and I will talk to you next week. Bye!